Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to work on the Prisma integration and we will look what are the scenario we should supposed to use the ORM and where not to use the ORM, right? I have received a lot of questions related to ORM and when to select ORM, when not to select ORM or maybe what are the specific scenarios we can go with in native SQL, right? So I'm gonna answer all those stuff right away here. Um, then first let's try to understand what exactly ORM it is. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapping. It is a concept of making developers life easy while we are interacting with the database without writing the SQL queries with the help of object oriented concept, right? So it is giving a way to deal with the data, organize the way into objects with the properties, methods, and the relations between the objects are expressed through association. Now you can say this is our user. User can have the address, card, order, items, transaction, payment. So all this data, all these objects are, are expressing with the help of some kind of association. All those associations, all this complexity, it is hiding behind this ORM, right? So ORM, in short, you can say it's a kind of middle layer that is allow us to interact with the relational database using any programming language objects to kick it out to the low level complexity, just like you know, for this association, user and address, user and having the card and card can have item, all this like three level, there are three levels, right? So all these associations, you no need to write the low level, uh, the SQL code in terms of to make it associate, right? So these are the complexity that is hiding behind this uh, ORM. So it is involves to mapping the database table to classes, rows to objects, and it is provide a state of the API where you can perform all these operations very easily. Right, and uh, so where you no need to write this all uh, native SQL codes. It provides some awesome features also, just like lazy loading, include, exclude, and while you are, while you need to load the child data in terms of like these items, all right, for the card, then you can include that it's specific items also card, right? So while user will be load, then it will go to the card, and then the card also can have all the items. So one single go, you can get everything in in your hand. Right. So this is how the ORM is working. All right. So we know what ORM it is. Now let's try to understand why we need to use it. When not to put import into writing SQL queries to deal low level database complexity, then we can fairly go with the ORM. And when it comes to the productive rapid development, as an example, the startup projects, build prototypes, or maybe POC proof of concept, at the time, maybe rather than putting our hands on the native SQL, you can go with ORM. And another point we can think of, like at any time, database can be changed in the near future, right? Uh, based on the business requirement, as an example, we can use maybe maybe some uh, different type of database instead of the current one, then maybe we can go with the ORM because ORM can have a flexibility to, uh, without touching the business logic, all right? Then simply just let's change the database layer with the help of the, the ORM, right? That is what we can do. And another point, when we are not caring about the manual sanitization to protect the data, because ORM can handle most of them, right? So in this scenario, maybe we can go with the ORM. So you no need to uh, use this data sanitizations right before uh, inserting your data to the database, right? And another point, well, we are dealing with the database at the time, if we are thinking of the type safety, right? Then we can use the type ORM to get advantage of the type safety and object rendered programming paradigm. At the last point, if we are not considering to write the manual SQL query, then just to go with the ORM, it can help us out to automatic query generation and object relational mapping, as I said earlier, right? Something like this, right? Now we know what are the best case scenario where we need to go with the ORM. So next we need to understand why we need to use the native SQL besides ORM, right? So there are a few points I have figured out right here. So when it comes to performance always matter, then we can go with the native SQL because ORM always create overheads, right? When you need more control on the SQL and the flexibility, at the time you can go with the native SQL also, right? So when you have a small application and uh, a kind of simple feature only, a, maybe a couple of SQL operations you need to do, then the ORM, it doesn't make sense because it need to maintain a lot of configurations and a lot of stuff you need to maintain. Right. So instead of that, you can just like go with the native SQL. Right. So and another thing is like maintaining and debugging is extremely easy in the native SQL because you know everything about how how you are writing query and you have a, you have a complete access of the low level code. All right. It's an every piece of uh, an SQL query. Right. And you are writing such a way so you can you know better like which is exactly the pinpoint. So debugging is always easy right there. Right. 
Another point is while you need to be more focused on the database operations to perform complex jobs, transactions with a low-level control, just like if you are building a kind of big system where maybe uh, real-time the booking systems, all right, maybe banking, etc., where live transactions or maybe multiple concurrent transactions are needed, right? In that case, maybe you can go with the native SQL. While it will get a lot of flexibility to handle all those operations in the low-level. The last point, when it comes to the native SQL, then it is always helping us to enhancing our SQL and database knowledge, right? So throughout of the application, if you're writing pretty much a native SQL query, then definitely like you will be gaining a lot of uh, good knowledge in terms of like a lot of use cases or the scenarios you need to solve, all right? So this is the way you can, you can gain a lot of uh, good understanding about maybe deep understanding of the lower level of the SQL queries, right? Which is you are, which is the ORM is pretty much hiding all this complexity behind the scene. So as you can see here in the body scenarios from the left and right from the ORM, the native SQL. So while it comes to patching in an user, then it is just try to find the association with the, the related all the objects, right? And giving back to us. But while it comes to native SQL, then you need to write a kind of raw query by join yourself like you know, user with the address. Right. then you will be able to get the data. The second level also, while it comes to the ORM, it is just to try to find out that the association for that specific user to cart and cart to item and it is giving back. In the native SQL, you need to write a kind of simple join by using these three tables, right? User, order, and items, right? In the similar way, also third uh, layer, you can see like there is a simple query where we need to join all these tables like user, order, transaction, and payment. Then you can get the aggregated data from here. And which is you need to construct accordingly and you need to give it back as per your flexibility, you can, you can, you can respond to our application, right? But here in the ORM, this is exactly, it's doing the similar way uh, behind the scene, is writing some query, but it is hiding the complexity and it is giving back the specific objects to us, right? It may be a kind of single object or maybe a kind of array of objects, etc. Perfect. So now I hope you have a clear picture what exactly ORM it is, what native SQL it is, and when to use the ORM and when to use the native SQL. Perfect. So we are going to implement ORM in our microservice. As an ORM, we are going to use Prisma uh, and uh, native SQL already we have implemented in our uh, various tutorials in our YouTube channel. So you can go ahead and check it out. Maybe most of them we have used the native SQL. All right, then that's all for this episode. And in the next episode, we are going to put our hands on the practical where we will be implementing ORM in our microservice. As an ORM, we are going to implement Prisma, as I said before. But before say goodbye to this episode, uh, if you have not joined our Discord channel, join it right now to get advantage of our worldwide job offers and important updates. We believe our subscribers and loyal members are deserve good opportunities as well as to, to follow our channel. Alright, then see you in another episode.